Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me. Today I've got a quick Thanksgiving card to share with you. I'm going to be using a stamp and die set from Paper Tray Inc. It's called Lucky Break. And I'll also be using some paper from this Pebbles Warm and Cozy 6x6 pad. So I've chosen this pretty leaf pattern paper and I'm going to use that as my background. I'm just trimming that out with my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die and that'll measure 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. I'm also using some MFT Biscotti cardstock and I'm cutting from that a large label die using the Spellbinders a large label set as well as the Wishbone out of whipped cream cardstock. Here I'm going to use my Misty to stamp my sentiment and I'm just laying that out. And here I'll stamp that using Lawn Fawn Walnut Ink. I used MFT's whipped cream cardstock and I've cut from that a panel measuring four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna place that on the inside of my card base and this is made from MFT's Jelly Bean Green cardstock. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment using Lawn Fawn Walnut Ink. Now I'll finish putting together the front of my card. I'm going to use my ATG gun to attach that leaf panel. And then I will also attach my biscotti colored label. I decided to go ahead and pop up that wishbone, so I'm going to use some of those Doris foam strips. And before I place it on the wishbone, I'm going to peel off that backing so it's sticky on both sides. And this will allow me to curve it around the shape of the wishbone really easily. I'll place that on the front of my card. And then for a final touch, I'm gonna add some Spectrum Noir shimmer pens just on top of the bone there. I decided to create a liner for my envelope, so I went back to that same paper pad and pulled out a piece of paper uh, that looked like some worn leather and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Envelope Liner Die for this. You can see that it creates a slit down the center there. So you just line that up with the crease of your envelope and then fold the flap over. Add some ATG gun, fold it over again, and you're all set. And that will complete our card for today. You can find additional photos as well as a full list of supplies at my blog post listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.